Hey guys, what is up? It is Chris, and we are back here with another uh, trap video tutorial. And uh, I actually have this um, house trap. I know it's not exactly the same, but it's basically it's the same uh, trap mechanics that was in my uh, HCF video, like the how to trap uh, diamond guys and stuff like that. And uh, a few people want to know how I made this trap. Uh, it's actually pretty simple, really. You kind of basically you have to kind of use your like newbie skills to try to bait someone into this like into this kind of cave area thing and once you close the doors on them and they're in here they're basically you know they're, they're like screwed from here so basically you just got to get someone to chase you in uh, i would recommend actually lighting this up too before i uh, go any further because on a lot of servers zombies do trigger this trap if you have like uh it's set up in a specific way um but the way i have this one set up is by a button right now in my video i had it as a pressure plate um I also had someone from that was down there to uh, flick a lever for me. It kind of just depend on how much access I had. Uh, if you're getting like 2v1 in here, this is not exactly the best trap, but uh, it works if it's like a fall trap kind of thing. This one, we have it to a safe room, and that's what I have it in this video, because uh, on this flatland, uh, the blocks only go down to bedrock, like three lower, so this is it looks kind of tight down there. But basically, once you trap someone in here, you get them to follow you in. This could either be a lever or a pressure plate, but if it is a pressure plate, you have to jump on and off of it. If it's a button, you just flick it once. So if you can see, it'll come back. Everything falls down. Uh, basically, it's just like a regular sand trap, except um, oh, this one doesn't fall by the way. It's just so I could just so I could keep the gravel up. To be honest, you could have like the button right there. Um, the reason I have it one lower is just so people kind of think it's like a walkway down. I took the chests out in some of the clips because uh, people would actually pearl up there, and on that server, like per pearl glitching out of things is extremely easy. So uh, I had to get rid of everything that was that you see right here. I used to have just a chest and some stairs and furnace and crafting table. If you saw the video, you, you'd kind of know what I'm talking about. But basically, all I have is I have like this. I just get any kind of block, attach it to a piston. It could be a sticky piston, you know, whatever you need to do. Uh, basically, you just go like this, and you place signs all under your base and then you get some gravel on top of it that'll it'll hold up and then basically when you hit this button the piston will extend and retract and that breaks all the signs and the torches break all the gravel and then you could just run into your safe room you could have like a little archery area here uh but that's basically the concept the only thing you have to redo it is just this and um then you just go to the side it won't like freeze like this on a server i guess i'm pretty sure that's just single player and then you just put your gravel on. Oops. Where's this one? Right there. Then you just go like that. I'll do like half of this. Yeah. Okay, you, you get the point. Flick it. It retracts and then everything falls. Uh, this is a pretty good trap. A lot of people do know about it, unfortunately. it's I don't know who made this trap in the first place because it definitely wasn't me. I've seen this being used before. Um, it is... Depending on like what you have, if this is a fall trap all the way down, you want to make some kind of safe block for yourself. I recommend that uh, I I created a machine that was pretty easy to use. If you want to make this like a fall trap to fall to their death, you know, if you don't have any like bows or anything like that, if you just get like a dispenser, uh, water bucket. I think I made this in a previous trap video, but this is for the people who haven't watched, it, obviously. Uh, pressure plate and then some redstone. Oh, and a, and a sign or two. Uh, if you just put a dispenser... Say you wanted to make it so that this was a fall trap. After the person falls all the way down, you get a pressure plate right here. Some redstone. Some signs so it doesn't break all your torches. You have it activated to start off. Oops. Okay. Well, I'm already screwing up. You can go like this. That should work. No? It's going to be annoying. Okay. I'm not exactly the best at redstone, but I know a little bit. Okay. That should work. There we go. Basically, what you want to do is you want to have this activated at the beginning so that um, when you're falling down, you know exactly where the block is. And say, you know, you flick this, they're falling to their death. If you just make it to that corner, it'll turn. the machine will basically just turn it off right behind you. And then uh, if the person does decide to try to land there, you could always have safe rooms. Unless you're falling at the exact like same area, like this is probably like the easiest one of the easiest things to do to keep yourself alive. 
But uh, just in my preference, like we didn't really want to dig all the way down. That's why we didn't do it. Also, there'd probably be some kind of gravel. Actually, no, the gravel would just break. I want to see if it breaks the water real quick. We'll just do a quick test. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so you could have this too um, in the corner, and this will still break. Uh, maybe the signs might screw it up, though. Yeah, most likely. Oh, I guess not. So falling s gravel will just go straight through. That I did not know. All right. Well, that works perfectly then. So uh, there's not much else to explain. The only thing you have to do to reset it is do that and that and put the signs back on and uh, just try to grab your next person. That's about as simple as it gets. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Um, if you do enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more, just uh, write it down in the comment section what you want to see, and uh, I'll make sure to make that video. So I'll see you guys next time. Later.